Hey everyone, it's Brianna here with Blossom and Branch Farm. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, plugs and my soil blocks because I talk a lot about my soil blocks and I'm in my greenhouse a lot um, doing my seeding and growing everything from seed and it is time consuming and a lot of flower farmers, what they do instead of doing all of this is they just purchase their plugs pre-grown um, from a grower, they ship them to them and they just put them in the ground, which is fine. It's a fine way to do it. Um, definitely requires less work in a freezing cold greenhouse. Um, and I'm going to tell you the few reasons why I don't use plugs um, and some pros and cons. So I have one of each here um, for you guys to look at. So I have acquired a plug from a fellow grower and this is the same variety as the soil block that I'm going to be showing you. So let's look at the plug first. So this is a plug and it comes in a tray of usually you can get them in a play, tray of uh, around 100 or around 200 and so you can see what's happening with the roots here. So these roots have started to circle. Um, they have started to become accustomed to the shape of the plug tray, and they have started to just go around and around and around on themselves. So this is the disadvantage of growing in a seed tray. You can compare that with this soil block. So you can see the roots in the soil block and even when this one has been transplanted, this started out as a smaller soil block and I transplanted it into this bigger one, but even as a small soil block, it did not have roots circling inside. Um, you can see they get to the edge here and then they just stop or they just grow out the bottom, but they don't circle around inside of any container. So this is the benefit of a soil block, is that these are not becoming root bound. And you can see the difference just by looking at the strength of these two different plants. So look at the stems on these are kind of weak. Um, they're thin. The, the leaves are a pale green and they're a little bit smaller. And then look at the stem of the soil block grown. Look at the leaves, the dark color. They're nice and full leaves. Um, so again, when you go to transplant these out, this one is going to go into transplant shock. Um, because it's been used to being in a container and now all of a sudden you're making it go out into the ground, it doesn't really know what to do in that environment. Um, so it's going to require a lot more babying. So that's a pro of planting out these soil blocks. Um, again, it requires a lot less plastic. I'm not having to buy a lot of single-use plastics um, and things that kind of fall apart after a couple of seasons. And I just use the soil blocker, I just use the soil, it just goes right into the dirt. Um, and the roots on these are much healthier. So instead of growing that root around and around in a circle, once it hits the edge, it stops, and then it just continues growing roots inside of this block. So once you plant it into the ground, all of those roots can go out. They can search for water. Um, it becomes a hydrated plant instead of a small, weak, dried out plant. Um, and this one is going to be a lot more susceptible to pest problems. It's also going to be more susceptible to drought problems. So this one with a nice, healthy root system is not going to be something that the bugs want to munch on as much. Um, when they try to eat into these stems or these leaves, they're going to get a mouthful of water because this is a nice, healthy, hydrated plant with good root system. So it's full of water. So once a, a, an aphid tries to eat into this, it's gonna to get too much water and it's not gonna like that. It's going to much prefer eating this. It's going to get a little bit stressed. It's going to be a little bit dried out. Um, and it's a nice uh, material for a pest to eat. So if you're seeing a lot of pest issues or transplant shock um, or drought issues with your with your crop, I would definitely recommend looking into soil blocking. Um, I'm going to plant both of these out tomorrow and we'll look at the comparison of how they do after planting.